Greetings and salutations, everyone. Hi there, Mark Absalon, your green screen guru of all things green. And in this training video, we are going to cover a topic that I have been requested and requested to do, and that's how to chroma key in Vegas Pro 9. We're going to go over all the basics and show you how to do it. And to those people who don't know that Vegas Pro 9 will uh, edit chroma key footage, now you do. Well, before we get started, let's go over the basics of chroma key. Now, chroma key is the removing of a background, whether it's blue or green or sometimes red, and replacing it with another image. It's really great for complex scenes. As you can see behind me here, we have a uh, green screen from tubetape.com. It's not entirely set up yet, but we're going to be using it. There are things you need to do when shooting your chroma key footage. Now, the first is the most complex, or it could be rather simple, and that's pretty much planning your shot. Now, if you're doing a really complex shot, like, let's say having some someone as a giant walking through the middle of a city, you need to know how your camera is going to play with your footage. So planning your shot for something like that is very important to make it correspond to the footage that you shot to add to the chroma key. Now if you're doing something really simple like just background removal uh, for a vlog or whatever like that, planning your shot isn't quite as important. But remember, plan your shot no matter what you're doing. Now the second thing that's important is lighting your background. You really want to light your background evenly if you can. That way it makes for an easier key. Now let's look at importing, editing, and rendering your chroma key footage. Now if you're using a P2 card based system or some other solid state card system like the EX1 cam by Sony, uh, all you do is you drag your footage on over into your hard drive. It's pretty simple and you can edit that way. Now if you're using a tape based system you'll need to capture your video and you do that by going to file and capture video and if you're using mini DV you want to select that. If you're using HDV you want to select that little thing. We're going to go ahead and open that up so you can see what it looks like. I have done a tutorial entirely on this uh, so if you want to learn more about that just check out the videos previous to this one. We'll exit that because we already have our footage right here. It's already in the trimmer window and all we have to do is drag it down onto our timeline. Just drag it down onto our timeline. There we go. And you can see in the preview window there's our chroma key footage. Now we want to add the chroma key effect. It's relatively easy, simple, and painless. Just go to the uh, event button, the event effects button, click that, and also click Sony Chroma Gear. And click OK. And you can see that it kind of took some out, but we need more. Well, the preset we want to choose is pure green screen because that's what we're using. If you're using blue, use blue. Uh, if you're using red, use red, etc. So we're going to stick with green. Well, it took out a lot of it but it didn't take out all of it so we have to customize this now the best way to customize it is click the show mask only and we want to turn the background part black and the subject white without making weird things go on with our chroma key subject like zigzag lines green halo effect etc and we do that by going over to the low and high threshold and adjusting them accordingly up and also down until our subject is entirely keyed. That looks pretty good. Let's put a little bit of a blur on it there and let's take the show mask only off and look we've got a very nice even key on our subject. The black is black and our subject is there and it's transparent behind us. So let's close that. Now we need to add a background. Well, I have these cool background effects from TubeTape.com that you can go over and check out on their website. Uh, it's part of their motion series. They have some really neat ones. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag that motion background underneath our chroma key footage. You can see it's showing through. It looks nice. It looks good. You want to always make sure that your background is behind the chroma key footage. If it's not, if you put it up above it, there you go, your subject disappears. It's like a layer cake. The uh, footage on top has no alpha removed, no chroma key removed, so you're not going to be able to see what's underneath it, unlike the footage that we just edited with chroma key. Well guys, this is a very simple way of editing chroma key. If you're using uh, something more complex where you weren't able to do the lighting correctly, you might want to check out Vision Lab but 99% of the time, 
uh, Vegas Pro 9 works excellent. Both of these programs, both Vegas Pro 9 and Vision Lab, are available over at TubeTape.com. So you can go check that stuff out over there. They've got some great software. Now let's render our file footage here. We'll go ahead and make sure the loop is set up for that. And we're going to render for the internet or YouTube. Well, let's do render as. Sony has a great little codec on this. It's called the Sony AVC. And they have a preset on their templates for internet video 16 by 9, which works great on YouTube. I haven't had any issues with it. And if you want to customize it, you can. Uh, you can change the, the bit rate. You can change the frame size if you're working with 1080. Uh, you can change it to that if you're working with 720. It's kind of your preference as to what you want to use. And go ahead and render it out. And uh, let's call this guy Chroma Key. And we shall render this sucker. There we go. Look at that. That's a great key. Well, guys, if you want to learn more about Chroma Key, you can go over to tubetape.com. They've got my training DVDs where I'll personally take you through stuff. Also, some training DVDs from FX Home. Uh, they've got a wealth of knowledge over there that you can check out and learn more about Chroma Key and lighting and etc. Along with the motion backgrounds which are great. They've got some awesome motion backgrounds and Vision Lab and Vegas Pro 9. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'm Mark Absalon and I hope you have a cool and groovy evening, afternoon, or morning. Whatever it is, wherever you are. I'm out of here. I'm going to go edit some more Chromie Key footage.